This video will cover the topic graphing a parabola of the form y equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c integer coefficients. Let's start with the example problem y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 7. Our main goal for this topic is to graph the parabola using this function. How are we going to be able to graph the parabola if we don't know where the vertex is located on our graph? Great question! There are actually two methods we can use in order to find our vertex for the parabola. For our first method, we are going to rewrite our problem 3x squared minus 12x plus 7 into the form of y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. A parabola in this form will have a vertex of hk. How will we be able to rewrite our problem into the form of y equals a times x minus h squared plus k? We are first going to factor out 3 from our first two terms. This leaves us with y equals 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 7. We now need to complete the square for x squared minus 4x. We do this by dividing the leading coefficient of our linear term negative 4x by 2 to get negative 2. Then we square negative 2 to get 4. We then insert 4 into x squared minus 4x to get y equals 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 7. Now what we essentially did was add 12 to the right side of our function since 3 times 4 equals 12. If we factored our 3 into our 3 terms, you can see that we just added a 12 into our original function. In order to balance out our equation, we need to also add 12 to our left side. This gets us y plus 12 equals 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 7. We then subtract 12 from both sides to get y equals 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 7 minus 12. We then simplify this problem to y equals 3 times x minus 2 squared minus 5. Now that we have found our new form, what do we do from here? Well, remember that a parabola in the form of a times x minus h squared plus k has a vertex of hk. If we look at our problem, we can see that our h is 2 and our k is 5. This means that the vertex of our parabola is located at 2, negative 5. With this information, we can now graph our parabola. Pick two x values to the left of our vertex and two x values to the right of our vertex. In this case, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We plug these x values into our new function to get our y values. Our parabola contains the points 0, 7, 1, negative 2, 2, negative 5, 3, negative 2, and 4, 7. With our points plotted, we can now graph our parabola to get our final answer. For method 2 of finding the vertex of our problem, we'll be using the axis of symmetry. A problem in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c has a vertex located at the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the line x equals negative b divided by 2a. Our a value will be the coefficient of our quadratic term 3x squared, and our b value will be the coefficient of our linear term negative 12x. Once we plug our values in the linear equation for the axis of symmetry, we get x equals 2. Since the vertex is located on the line x equals 2, its x coordinate will be 2. We then plug our x value back into our original function. This gets us the result of y equals negative 5. This also gets us our vertex of 2, negative 5. We then follow the same steps as before, except we use our original function to find our y values. Once we find our points, we can plot our graph. As we can see, we got the same graph as we did with our first method. I think I'm starting to get this. In order to graph our parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we first use one of our two methods to find the vertex of the parabola. After that, we find and plot our points, and then we draw our graph. Now you're getting the hang of it.